Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. All info, no fluff, so let's get to it. Today I want to show you my cool theme that I just downloaded. Just kidding, this is Logic Pro X. I want to show you a really cool feature in Logic that I'm hoping to recreate today in Reaper. If you don't know, Logic has a similar system to folders in Reaper, which they call stacks. And one really nice thing about stacks is if I take a few MIDI instruments and then put a MIDI item on this stack right here, this will play out of all of these tracks. It's coming out of all three of them and I can then kind of mix them together can mute one of them and then I can add as many software instruments as I want to this so let's jump into Reaper and see how we can recreate this okay so here we are in Reaper and I have essentially the same thing set up so before we start let's get a little bit into why we may want to do something like this to begin with and the reason is simple is for layering synths and software instruments and stuff like that right people don't just use one synthesizer they use multiple synthesizers to create one sound so for example I have these three synths here and if I play them together they will sound really nice and each does a different thing, right? So my piano gives us that initial attack up front. Our pad kind of just fills the background a little bit. And then our arpeggiator does a lot of heavy lifting. So normally I would have to write three lines for these, but I'm not, I'm just writing one line. Then I can just kind of blend these together. So obviously the same system as Logic doesn't work here because if I put a MIDI track up here, it's not going to go down to any of the bottom tracks. Signal flow in Reaper runs upward in folders, right? So each of these tracks is sending MIDI and audio up to the folder track, but you know, it doesn't flow downwards. If I put this MIDI item down on my pad track and play it, you can see that it's sending both audio and MIDI upwards. So obviously what I can do is I can copy this on both of these tracks and then play it. However, the problem with that is that if I wanna change something slightly in one of them, well, I'll have to go and do that on all the other items as well. So that's not really efficient. So another thing we could do is that we can use the signal flow to our advantage. It always goes upwards, right? If I bring this down here, I set this to be a parent folder. Now we're sending MIDI up there. Now, if I make this the parent of that parent, now we're sending to both of them. And, you know, if I keep going, now all these tracks are receiving MIDI data from this track on the bottom. Of course, once we get past this, audio is also going up as well. Except for this VCA up here, all these tracks have a software instrument on them. So that means while audio from here is getting to this track, nothing is happening because software instruments by default take in MIDI output audio. As you can see, they have no inputs. They only have outputs. So if audio goes to them, nothing happens. But the audio that they themselves are outputting is getting sent up here, summed up here, and then we can adjust the volume volume of each of these tracks on its own. However, there is a big problem. If I turn down this top pad, it affects all the audio in the chain. So that's definitely not something we want. So another thing we could do, and this is like a simple way of doing it, I can put all the synths on one track, it'll play all of them. So I'm going to turn this down a little bit and I can play the item and it'll play all three items together. And then I can come here and through this wet knob, adjust the levels of each one however I want. The problem here is that from here I can adjust the volume of each of these synths, no problem, and I can adjust the overall volume from this fader here. But what I can't do is kind of put different EQs on each one. It is possible to do if we come here, if we create some additional outs for the instrument, I can send this layer out one and two, come here and send this layer out of three and four, and then go and create three audio tracks down here and each of them receives you know channels one two three four and five six from this synth but that takes ages to set up so to me the best way to accomplish this is to create a midi track put our midi item on there and then send it to all of these tracks individually obviously that takes a little bit of time because i gotta drag something from here to here i gotta set the audio to none i can set the midi to all or select the channel or whatever and then i have to rinse and repeat for two other sends so at least we can make this part a little more easy on ourselves by creating a custom action and i have a custom action if i select these tracks and then bring my cursor to the midi track and press command control and one Beam, bap, boop. I'll get all of them sent to it. Not only that, but as you can see, the audio for each one is none and MIDI for each one is 
all, which is exactly how we want. This custom action is pretty useful. This will be available to download on my blog post, which I'll link below as well. But you know, it essentially sets all default track sense to MIDI, then creates a mono send from track under mouse cursor to select the track. It waits for a second and set the default back. And the way that works is, I'll show you one more time. I select the tracks I want to send to, then I put my mouse cursor on the track I want to send from, and then I hit the hotkey. You need to assign a hotkey to this because it sends from track under mouse cursor. So you can't put it on a toolbar because otherwise when you run the action, your mouse cursor is on an icon and not on a track. So it needs to be a hotkey. And then if I want to create a new layer, duplicate one of these tracks. And when you duplicate a track that has sends on it, the sends get duplicated too. So now as you can see, our MIDI is sending to four tracks. And then I simply just add another plugin in its place. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.